giving to the lesser fire My body aches to be satisfied My weakness comes and goes My weakness comes and goes I'm reaching out for the easy high Please fortify So I don't know if you all can see but it's March and it's snowing. This is the beginning. The morning we're gonna wake up and see what it do. Oh my god, I'm glad I went to the grocery store. Because it's just snowing. I don't know what Hey Gucci! Hey Gucci! We're about to take Gucci to go get girls! He stinks, boy. He stink. He stink. He gotta take a bath. He gotta take a bath. He's taking him to the groomers right now, though. I can't wait to see him after he get done. Hey, Gucci. 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 <laughs> Look how he was looking at me. <laughs> Crazy. 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 Hey. <laughs> So we're at Walmart, y'all. I just found out that the dog got tapeworms, and the stuff at the treatment stuff at PetSmart was like. $50 to $100, who? No. Not for no puppy. No. <laughs> That's so evil. Okay, let me not say that. Okay, we love the puppy. But, I mean, if I can find a better deal, I'm going to do that. I mean, I bargain shop for myself, so why would I take the high road for a puppy? You know? But, yeah, so we're in Walmart. Oh, look at this. Where y'all get them from? I got it. Thank you. They just gave us free cupcakes on Walmart. If you know your birthday, you can get a free cupcake. <laughs> and we know our birthday. But we got free cupcakes. <laughs> Don't tell me what I ain't supposed to do. Um, didn't see it. Then how did we throw our paper away? I don't care. I don't care. Hey, why she got She want me to. I'm vlogging. Lee logging. <laughs> Call this the B log. <laughs> 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 
Don't worry, I'm fine. She said, she said it said don't breathe. What you mean? It's a take oh, while. Turn around, Jamal. I don't see it. Do What's up, y'all? It's so cold outside. It's like ridiculous. Like, it's so cold. So we're headed to go and get some barbecue. Me as in me and my husband. He's sick, y'all, so he will not be on this one. But we're about to go get some barbecue. I can't wait to eat it. I don't look so good like I, like I smell and hear in my head, feel in my soul. Like, I really do. I feel like, I feel like in my head right now that it's going to be so grand, you know? You know how you don't want to set yourself up for the kill because then I might get it and it might not be so grand. Then I'd be like, damn it. You know? I don't want to be like that. But yeah, so I'm just headed to this part of the hill. And we're going to go get the kids and go get him some medicine because he is and I ain't trying to catch the sickness all over again, especially because it's our anniversary weekend. But we gotta get his little sick ass together. Cause hunty, you can't be sick on the anniversary. What? But yes, but I'm gonna check back in with y'all later when yeah, I find the time and I'm not driving, you know? Bye y'all. The strength of mine, my weakness comes and goes. My weakness comes and goes. spot that we went to do not accept well do not what's that type of language does not accept cards they only accept cash and guess who don't got cash pisses me the freak off man because everybody know you got to come deep down into the hood to get the greatest barbecue like because i mean we got another barbecue spot river loin but there's like Like it ain't the same barbecue. It ain't it ain't the same barbecue at all. So now I don't know what we about to eat. Oh, I think I do know what we eating Herman's. So we about to go to Herman's, a little soul food spot. Cause I'm tired of eating the same little stuff. But yeah, y'all. So that dream and destiny just failed real fast. And I was talking all that shit about it being good, and I ain't I ain't even gonna know if it's gonna be good or not, cause I can't even get the shit. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Bye. So we're walking into CVS or Walgreens. No, this is Walgreens. No, this might be CVS. I don't really know. Oh no, this is Walgreens. We need to get him some medicine because that baby's sick. So let's get him some medicine. I'm so hungry, y'all. After this, I called us in an order at the Herman's, the little soul food place I was telling y'all about. And then, after here, we're gonna get that, then we're going home, I'm tired. I've been working over like crazy, I'm tired. Just sitting in front of the computer all day. What's up, y'all? So I'm at work, I'm about to go downstairs. My husband is off, he doesn't feel good. I try to send him to the store to get some hot tea for himself and lemon, but he don't know what he's looking for. So I'm about to go down to my job 
well, I'm at my job, but go down to our cafeteria and get him some hot tea because he's waiting for me outside to bring it to him, y'all. So I'm about to get him some hot tea. Y'all, I'm mad because I had vlogged like a whole 10 minutes, right, of footage. <laughs> and there was no sound to it. Like, the video plays, but there's no sound. I don't know what happened, y'all. So I'm gonna have to redo it. Redo it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I vlog for YouTube, so I'm just doing different stuff. It's okay. Okay, so I got you the tea. And I put you some more lemon, I mean, uh, some more honey in there because you need to take a teaspoon of that honey. Then I got you the tea. Make sure, an uh, extra pack of tea, make sure you boil your, some water and put it back in there when, you know what I'm saying, throughout the day. Yeah. And I hope you get better. Okay. Okay, I love you. Love, love you Give me a kissy. Thank you. Give me an air kiss. Because I don't want to be sick. Okay. Well, let me know. Take, make sure you, you need some nighttime medicine so you can just put it in your body and just sleep your life away today okay so we can get you better okay i love you so you know i was telling you all that the footage got deleted and i had to do another vlog about it so i'm not going to do another vlog about it i'm going to just tell you all and include the clips that are silent clips but you see what i was doing you know what i'm saying so i recently had an issue and was complaining about it which is about sephora workers y'all i'm not racist or anything like that y'all but i really have to quit putting my faith into Sephora workers, the Caucasian ones, to, you know, because every time I do it, they either give me some super dark foundation or some super orange foundation, right? So I had to go take that back, right? Then I never have an issue out of MAC, but I recently, which if you all watched that vlog, then you know that I had went to MAC and got me some new foundation because I hate Sephora orange foundation because I don't wanna walk around looking like a orange, right? So I went to MAC There were no urban people, okay? That's the best term. And so I had someone pick me out the foundation and I couldn't remember what it was. So they gave me a 35, y'all. Well, technically I needed a 30, but I didn't know that until I got all the way home. But they gave me a 35 and I was orange again. So I was like, y'all, Am I the only one who had these issues when dealing with Caucasians who try to work? and makeup and sell you makeup is like y'all just give it up just give it up I don't know what what are the requirements to work at Sephora and Mac but I would think knowing people's skin tones that would come kind of you know easy as they have all this technology or you know you could just test shades out but y'all had to return that that um 
the MAC foundation and go get me a number 30, which now I know that I have to do a 30, so I won't have this problem again because I should have just knew what, you know, what my skin color was and my skin complexion, so I would never be orange again in my life because, you know, I don't want to be orange. If I wanted to be orange, like, I would just go over tan. I would go ask Donald Trump for some solutions on how to be orange. Like, who wants to walk around looking like a little pumpkin? In my case, a big pumpkin. So yeah, so that basically was what my rant was about, um, about these makeup artists or these makeup people who work at these makeup stores who just don't know different skin types and just give you whatever. Like, you might wanna be orange, baby, but I don't wanna be orange. And then at Sephora one time, before, the, before I got the orange foundation, I was, they tried to get me a color, y'all, that literally was like, let me see if I can find the color. Like, y'all know I'm like, it literally was about the color of my dad. Now look at me and look at him. Do I look like I'm that color? They gave me some foundation at Sephora that was literally that color, y'all. And I'm just like, if y'all can do it, I should do it. And I'm not even, I don't even do makeup. I don't even know how to do makeup. I just be watching YouTube and just, I really learned how to do my makeup because I was getting tired of my husband knowing how to do it and I didn't know how to do it. And all I knew how to do was apply lip gloss and lipstick. But yeah, do y'all have that problem? Comment down, down below, like, do y'all have problems out of these Sephora and MAC workers where they just literally play a guessing game with your skin and give you any foundation?